edition of 71 Magazine. I'm your host, John Bryanton, and joining me in the studio today is Robin Clark, and she is a OCTC healthcare faculty member and also a registered nurse. Robin, welcome to the show. Good morning, John. How are you today? Good. Great to have you here. Good, thank you. Now, today we're going to be talking about the new medical assisting program, which is getting ready to kick off this fall at OCTC. But before we get into too many details, is there really a growing demand for, I mean, anytime we start a new program, there obviously has to be a demand for this sort of uh, profession in the field. So what kind of information do we have? John, there is a huge demand for this and the national data supports it. Um, medical assistants are in high demand right now mm -hmm. and they expect that demand to grow 23% by the year 2024. Wow. That's, that's a huge, huge increase, yeah. yes. I do know that, um, of course, going to my doctors, uh, I know a medical assisting person usually is the one who comes in and, and uh, uh, kind of gets me ready for the doctor. Um, but I, I had made, mentioned to this individual, I said, well, we're starting a medical assisting program at the college coming up. Is there really a demand? And quote unquote from her, our RNs are doing more medical assisting responsibilities sometimes than they are registered nurse responsibilities. So obviously there is a big demand. Okay, now that there is a big demand, what kind of pay can people expect? Well, that is a very good question. And the median wage for a medical assistant in the United States is between 30,500 and on up to 43,000. Okay. So the medical assistants that are working in the outpatient setting mm -hmm. can earn up to 32,000, that's above the median. Right. And then those working in the hospital around 31,000. Well, those are good wages, really, yes. for, for people that are coming into this. Um, let's give our, our viewers a basic overview or the, what is the responsibilities uh, of, of a medical assistant? Let me tell you, a medical assistant is a multi-skilled healthcare professional. They're working under the guidance of a licensed practitioner okay. or a licensed provider. Mm -hmm. um, they perform screenings. They can perform minor surgical procedures. They can do sterilization. They can um, obtain vital signs. They can chart in the patient record. They can perform EKGs. They can do first aid, patient education. They are the first, pretty much the first line that they see right. when a patient steps through that door they're gonna be with that medical assistant until they're with their physician. And sometimes the medical assistant will come back in with the physician and help them perform minor you know, procedures right. and things like that. So. Okay, well it's, it's obviously a very broad spectrum of, of things that they do. Multi-skilled. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, for this program though, what is the learning mo model for this program? Because I know it's a little different than, than the you're, re registered. You're right, it yeah. is. It, it's, it is definitely different from the traditional route. It's a work and learn uh, model. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to go to school full time and work part time around 24 hours per week. So they'll go to school full time two days mm -hmm. and then they'll work three days. Okay. And when they, were, they finish the one year uh, degree program, then they will have a degree and three certificates and they can go right to work. And if they want to do an Associate of Applied Science, they'll go one additional semester. Okay. So it is an accelerated program, John. I mean, right. they have to get in here and you know, get it done in one right. year, but they're ready to work in a year. Okay, so now, uh, when you say they go to work, explain that, are they partnered with? with what, what they're going to do is they're going to be in a sponsored position. Okay. So say they, they work for the hospital, they come in and they go to work, which is gonna help support the things that they're learning in the classroom. Mm -hmm. So it makes it a lot easier for them to grasp the concepts. Um, if they're doing it every single day, they're gonna learn it a lot faster right. and a lot easier than just reading it in a book and someone spouting off facts to them in a classroom. Okay. So it kind of really helps support what they're learning. So this really falls under more of uh, like our Go Fame. Correct. And the Go Careers, yes. which is very similar. Go Fame is where they're in manufacturing. Uh, Go Careers is, uh, I think they're doing one right now with like U.S. Bank. Yes, they it's are. It's more of a white collar worker uh, type program. So this falls sort of within that purview of, of how that is sure set does. up. It sure does, yes. Okay. Well, if, uh, if, our view if our viewers, we probably have viewers that are interested. Some, uh, and, and listen, anybody can come in here. That's correct. It doesn't matter the age. It, it, you know, it can be men, women, whatever the case is. Uh, how do they get started on this? There, there are some, there's a few steps that they must take. So the easiest thing for them to do is just call the downtown OCTC campus. Okay. That number is 270-686-4444. And Jackie Smith, Katie Vincent, mm -hmm. myself, Robin Clark, 
we can all help you. So just call that number and come on in. We'll help you with all the steps. We'll make it a lot easier. Okay, so you guys will actually help them get like set up, registered. Get them registered. There's, there's also some grant opportunities And financial for them. aid and a work ready scholarship. Yes, okay. so we will help them with all of that so that they're not overwhelmed with all of that right there in the beginning. Right, well, excellent. Well, listen, Robin, thanks for joining me and no best worries. of luck Thank you. Uh, on the program. I know it's very exciting for everyone involved. So I'm excited, yeah. I can't wait. Well, great. Well, listen, uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back with D Ward with a simple path. Stay tuned.